Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Octaz Expansion, using a special sub-mod called Old World Blues Battleground. Also we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, CH Central Tool Mod, as well as Player of the Peace Conferences, but let's begin with our focus. So the smoke and the fire. When the bombs dropped, we were prepared. A collective effort of all of our people brought together funding, scientific knowledge, engineering prowess, and the spiritual guidance to keep us safe underground while the smoke and fire washed over the earth. Also, we do, or are part of the faction of the Native Americans here near Tulsa, and this group down here. Also, we have left this on historical, so we'll see what happens. But we probably want to make a few divisions, right? Native forces? Not bad, not great. But we can work with them. We can definitely work with them. Let's go with three for now. And emerging from the earth once more. As our earliest ancestors emerged from the ground in the time of the legends to claim these lands, so did we once more. The time of smoke and fire. Our forefathers called the Great War the time of smoke and fire. We survived by being prepared. The smartest people in our community foresaw war coming and predicted it would be quick and end in total devastation on both sides. We built shelters, some other mountains, not quite vaults, but good enough to let us survive comfortably with enough goods, stored to bridge the time we needed to spend underground. What did we have in abundance? Food? Entertainment? Weapons? Uh, really, we could use weapons. We could really use weapons. I love stability. I like the manpower, but we're okay-ish on manpower right now. We're only on settlement protection. Ooh, yeah, I've already played 3.2. Um, yeah, uh, I think we might be okay on manpower. Maybe we'll see. I like the guns. Let's get some more stability. I love stability. The Accord. Separate in land, but together in spirit, we wrote down everything we needed to guide our nations into the future. Not a bad thing, leaving the Mother Mountains. We knew we could not stay forever underground, but the surface was too dangerous for a while directly after the bombs dropped. How long do we stay underground? Five years? Ten years? Twenty years? Uh, getting more cities is really good, so... It's gonna hurt our construction speed for longer, but it's, long, it's not that bad. And the Accord. Efficient and protected construction allowed us to stay in contact with the other Mother Mounds while we were underground. As soon as we decided to come to the surface again, we contacted the other groups to come together to discuss how to proceed further. This ended in us signing the Accord of the First People's Junction. What was the most important concept we wrote down? Safety? Freedom. Cultural advisor cost, minus 5%. I'll be honest, that doesn't seem very good. 5%? Versus more defense? I think we probably want to get more defense. Let's see. So I... So this focus tree, Octa's expansion, is very, very similar to the normal Native American tree in base Old World Blues now. But I think we'll do this one, see. So if we do revisit the core of the First People's Junction, we can finish the other focuses for the other group as well. Um, ooh, we can launch a coup. Ooh, ragtag empire building. It's extremely important. Make sure you're prepared for a tough war. So we've got to wait for that first. So the nation that completes its focus for all members will also get the following bonus. Cool, it gets more political power. Let's do that one first. It's only 12 days, right? While our nations have worked together for a long time now, large-scale cooperative projects were a rare thing. Maybe it's time to change that. And we schooling for everyone. Get more political power. We complete this first. 30 days of preparation for the pits. Ooh. Clear out the raiders. A tough decision. Comb the archives. Share the spoils. Reopen the pit. I kind of like that. I do want to do this one just so we can get another research slot very quickly. So... Let's maybe ragtag empire. Our nation is small. And our growth is exponential. We shall show all the... Show all the name of Choctaw. Very cool. And, oh, I guess we didn't get, well, we didn't get as much political power as we would have liked, but whatever. Uh, what else do we have here? Anything unique or different? Not too much. We do have five divisions to begin with. And they're not looking great, but Hiram Shank. Uh, he's a targeting computer. He can't learn very much. Oh, that sucks. Why, Hiram? Why? Why do you paint us so? And I put him against these guys because we might go to war with them eventually. We'll see. We're building up some cities right now. <clears throat> As we saw earlier, we're actually making some support equipment and some support equipment as well as fighters, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Three nations trade center. So we're doing that one first. I do want to beeline down this way, so we'll see. Expedition, seed of mysterious vision, organized internal trade. That's not too bad, but we do have some stuff over here. Uh, head physician, speaker, person of the community. Um, that's not bad either. I think we'll grab. My apologies about that. Let's see. Person of the community. Oh, we're going to get a lot of political power anyways. We might as well do that one first. All right, got two things done here. Let's grab some decryption. Let's grab some encryption. That'll be very, very nice. And I apologize for that little delay earlier. Request reinforcements. Um, Yeah, we want to get that fourth research slot as fast as possible. Request reinforcements. We require assistance in order to invade the Arkansas Territory more easily. Perhaps our allies west can assist us. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea, right? And what do we have here? Oh, income. Are we making any money? I mean, technically, no. I would love for us to make some money, but... Ooh. Balance is one cap. One whole thousand caps. Hmm. Drastic measures, probably not as well. 
Yeah, core population of 86,000 is really not bad. Uh, so let's do some PP. Let's do this. Raphael Bra Bradley. And, you know, I'm going to go with inspirational as well for you. It's fine. I wish you could train these guys. But, okay, so what does this say? Oh, that's not bad. More political power, manpower. Sure, we'll take that. Got some reference manuals. Let's go and work on our land auction. Ooh, we also are tribal. What, what, what tech levels are we? Okay, so we are civilized. Interesting. Um, conventional warfare, refined warfare. Can apply these tactics effectively. Fear tactics. Automated, asymmetric. I feel like we should go asymmetric, maybe. But then again, I don't really like asymmetric that much. Unless we go ancient tactics. Wasteland tactics seem like it's pretty good, but... Breakthrough. Um, more max attrition is not bad. More HP. Wasteland tactics. Because I don't really use militias that much. I mean, that looks really good for a lot of buffs, but... What are locals? Wait, what are... Militias. Alright, enforcers. Army breakthrough. Yeah, you know what? Cathedral Venom, I like that a lot. I think I might go with Ancient Tactics. Wedge Formations. A bunch of Native Americans using... Uh, this type of tactics. Asymmetric Warfare. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do Asymmetric Warfare. But go down the other one. By the other one, I mean the Legion. <laughs> the Legion one. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, let's see. Woke up the army. Just go ahead and go grab that one. We don't have very much here, but we'll do the best we can. After that one, research ready. Of course, before we're ready for war, we must assure that we have the finest guns and industry to support our young warriors. And we'll have to do the pit stuff, too, because it's, it's so quick. It's so quick to get done. Secret language is very nice. All right, come back over here and grab some improvised tools. We should be able to get to the next level of tech, right? For industry, yes. Level 2. Electronics is really bad for us, though, which is not good, but whatever. Research ready. Begin a scavenging program. Um, ask what doing it. We'll get it done anyways. Let's see. Economic independence. Ooh, that's not bad. But let's go and do schooling for everybody. Having a unified federation-wide education system will not only help us combat issues like poor literacy and an untrained workforce, but also will raise a new generation of bright minds that will accelerate our research projects. Yay. I'll wait for that one. Get some construction stuff. That's fine with us. And now we get 1.29, which is not bad. <clears throat> anything else here? Not really. Anything here unique? Not too much. Uh, probably an army. Ex Let's get an army guy. Ooh, conventional warfare. I guess that probably would have been better, but yeah. But, eh, we'll do military theorists. Why not? Get some army XP, which would be very bueno. Oh. Honestly, declare, declare war on the beast lords. Very good. Schooling for everybody. And oh, happy June 1st, everybody. All right. Good. Fourth research slot is super, 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 super nice. Division train time goes down. Uh, into the pits. Our education system. Our shared education system. Well, was a good start, but we need a central place to send our best and brightest people to. The Plains Commonwealth Institute of Technology, co colloquially called the pit, was such a place before the war. Maybe we can make it one again. If we manage to clear it all out, or all the raiders out, and rad roaches that have claimed it since, that is, of course. Clear out the raiders. We'll get a bonus based on the event outcome. Um, an unpleasant fellow calling himself the Lord of the Pit, and his gang had made their home in the abandoned pit. Over the years, they remade the former place of learning into a veritable fortress. A joint effort between our nation's mili militaries is necessary to oust him from that place. Ah, some division. Nice. Awesome. Not much. But we'll take it for now. we got to make sure we get some more support equipment, too. Comb the archives. Uh, why did the pit staff decide to store so much data on punch cards? We get the feeling that the pit was seriously underfunded. If they couldn't even afford at least consumer grade holodisc machines. The punch cards are beyond any attempt to salvage them, but the few holodiscs they had luckily survived intact. We should distribute them amongst the Federation so they can be used as efficiently as possible. Nice. Share the spoils. We found a couple of prototypes and improved versions of everyday use machinery and devices from before the war. While the machines themselves don't work anymore, we did learn some valuable lessons from dismantling and inspecting them. Get some bonuses, yeah. I get two more scrap. Ah, that's not great, but hey, you know what? I'll take more scrap if possible. And we'll reopen the pit very soon. Um, what do we have here? Outsider volunteers. What's this, guys? We're going to need some more defensive core territory, definitely. Attack and defense will be very good anyways, too. Um, just grab this one for now. Reopen the pit. When the great celebration of the Plains Commonwealth Institute of Technology was reopened to the public today, the leaders of the Allied Nations were all in attendance to applaud this great leap forward for the Federation. The first batch of new students was already waiting in front of the gates, ready to begin learning. The future is within our grasp. <clears throat> so we get research speed. Eh, it's only 12 days. I figured, you know, it's so fast, you might as well get it done, right? The Reclamation Authority, cool. And the pit. Assuming absolute authority, devious plans, the Octal Elite... 
Nine night attack's not too bad. We want to make sure we have a bigger armies before we do anything else. Cool. Addressing the local situation. If we want to continue to improve, we need to curry favor with one or all of the major groups in our nation. We have some options on how to accomplish this. Twelve points if you support of support for the two factions in your nation. Plan ahead accordingly. Well, we'll see what happens. That's that's a 60-day focus. That's a long focus, man. Um we, it's good that we have four resources also. That's really, really good. Actually, from here on out, just do this. Thank you. I kind of doubt we have enough guns, so let's make sure we throw on a few, just one more battalion here. We can cut down one of these just so to save. Actually, Manpower's looking really good now. That's looking really good. Oh, well, the Odyssey's dead. Okay, well, whatever. Mm, stability would be nice. Get some more stability. Stability is so good to get. So after this one, what are we going to do next? I kind of want to organize internal trade. Free trade between members, even though we're probably going to kill them if off eventually, so I'm not really sure how much this is going to really matter too much, so... Yeah, just going to do that one, it's fun too. And they'll get some, some more support companies and stuff. Expedition, Reopen the Train Station, Economic Growth. No other original Great Plains Federation members started this box yet, okay. That'd be really good to get. Yeah, maybe not really good, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So after this, I would like to launch the coup, but I'm not doing that yet. War-torn paths of Arkansas. I think the last time I did this, I did support the clans. I kind of support the city dwellers this time, maybe. Then again, I want to clear the riverbanks of local fauna. Um, the rivers of commerce. Multiple forts. We have a patrols. Cool. Woodworking. Let's go and come up here and grab some saws. We're going to need saws for defensive purposes. Like, we're going to need a lot of saws. Let's be real here. We're going to need a lot. And we don't have a big army yet, but we're working on it. Mm, economic independence, yeah. While the three nations treaty works for our allies, if, say, we were to go to war, we, it would destroy our economy. We must ensure that that doesn't happen. Oh, we removed the trade center. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Fr trade pact, trade center. Oh, can't do that one yet. This one. Economic independence. Well, we didn't. There you go. Um, interesting. Let me go on to it. clear the rivers, uh, banks of local fauna. There are many rivers crossings our nation, and they play a significant part in our nation's economy and infrastructure. But large swaths of them are still plagued by mirelurks and other critters. We need to get rid of them to make work and travel safe for everybody. Good. So we're getting that one. Let's come look over here and just go and grab this one. We need more up. Well, actually, that's a little bit way too ahead of time. A little bit way too ahead of time. That one first. There you go. After asymmetric warfare, we'll probably go up foraging. And we'll probably go down here and probably go ancient tactics, yeah. We're going to lose some population, but we'll get more organization, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I love organization, man. That's not too bad. Support them is looking actually really not bad at all. I'd like to do some recon, maybe. Maybe some field hospitals, perhaps? Perhaps? We're just going to have to be extremely defensive. Extremely, 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 extreme defensive maneuvers. So, we'll get up some more core defense territory. Defense on core territory, yeah. Words are hard. You know, I guess technically, we could probably start off like going to war with one of these guys. So we can just get some... You know what? That might not be a bad idea. 205. Jesus, 205 days. Um, Maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe we could just go to war with these guys first. You know, I do want more industry. I would love to get more industry first. How many factories do these guys have? Two to four. At least one. And then you guys have... Quite a few more millies. Um, we'll probably do those guys first. Because all we have to do is guard two tiles, right? right it, it sounds easy. It sounds really easy. So we're going to spend a lot of time just trying to defend. Just trying to defend. Make ourselves better. As best as we possibly can, right? Right. I'm going to do 18 combo with. I'm going to th throw some uh, fire teams over here as well. Just to get just a little bit more defense. Just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. How about this one of the rivers of commerce? That's okay. Help needed. Eh, that's not really great. Eh, that's not great either. Support the city dwellers. I think I'm going to go with this one this time. Subdivide the clans. Monthly manpower. Ooh, construction speed's not bad either. Hunt down weapon caches. Let's go with... Organize, organize internal trade. While trade between the areas owned by the different Federation members has always been a thing, it was sporadic and not well supervised. With a more structured approach, we can guarantee economic growth and prevent or at least mitigate things like local food, resource, or equipment shortages. Not bad. Mm -hmm. 
Night Physician is not bad either. I do like this one quite a bit, so. And, yeah, I'll just grab that one, because that'll help us declare war faster. Okay, they have a lot of guys there. Holy crap, I'm glad we have, we have to wait a while before we can do that, but still. Organize the total trade, free trade between members. We made great steps in the right direction with a new approach to trade. Now we just need to stop individual settlements, taxing traders for protection. Often, rather, forcefully. I know we're probably going to get rid of all this later on, but I still want to get the benefits here first. Little Brothers War. Um, oh. We should consider reviving the old sport called stickball. It was often used to settle disputes between tribes and get young warriors ready for battle. Both of these things sound incredibly useful. Added to the entertainment value, and regular inter-federation inter matches become a very good idea. 60-day focus, Jesus. 60-day focus. Protect the caravans. Uh, major business costs. That's not bad. Attract foreign correspondence or companies. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Construction speed. 60-day focuses are just so long, man. Oh, my bad. We have another one here. Uh, what else we have? This one? Yes. More manpower is always very good. Uh, I'll get some saws. That'll be great. We're going to grab some dynamite, too, immediately. We don't really have the factories for it, but we'll make it work somehow. Yeah, whatever we make next, whatever next military factory we get, we'll throw them on. I don't want to lower up pipe guns just yet, because we need so many. So... Mm, we do some planes. That's actually really nice. We actually do have some planes. Again, we have no airbase, so... How effective or useful they will be? Well, that'll be shown in time. Octa head chief. He's feeling pretty good. Smoke signals, good. Got some of that too. More decryption. Do they just have infantry or do they have... Nah, it's just infantry. Cool. Of course, then again, if we do go to war with these guys, our allies might get called in as well. So they could definitely help us out. Little Brothers War. Infrastructure projects. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to take, my, take our time getting this stuff done, so... Yeah, infrastructure projects, probably. With an ever-increasing influx of people and goods, we need to upgrade our transport network. Paths, roads, trains, everything we could need some fixing. Everything could need some fixing. And a new coat of paint. We want to get all this stuff done quickly. Yeah, uh, you know, as quickly as possible. Once we're done and out of this deficit... We have actually nine divisions. That's not bad. Um, we're going to throw one on here. Ah, let's just do it anyways. There you go. That's not going to be much. But we got to get started somewhere, right? Stability would be nice. Economic advisors. Production policies. Honestly, just, just maybe both those stuff. Nah, I do that one's fine. Good signals. Nice. Get some encryption. Infrastructure projects. Yes. Because the focus is not huge. And this will probably take like two episodes to do completely. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. Restore the highways. I would like to get some more infrastructure in Octa's expansion here. It's only just one tile. If we do that, we get more resources, which is nice. We get some more infrastructure so we can build slightly faster. So I think that'll be good next. Restore the highways. There are many highways crisscrossing our nations. They are often the most difficult or most direct paths between cities and minor settlements. Where they are passable, that is, we need to check their state of disrepair and send workforces to the worst affected parts of them. Not bad. And how much money do we have? Oh, yeah, we got to keep an eye on that, too. Uh, that's why I want to stay in the Federation for now until we can take over, was it Tulsa? I think that's a trade node. Yeah, Lone Star, First People's Junction. Over there, the cannery would be very good to get as well, but usually, I think... Oh, we also have Ghoul Swamp. I do need to play this group, this group sometime. Our hunger grows. Trade. Oh, hello. So they lost something. Yeah, the Jewel of the South. I got to play as New Orleans Ghouls. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. That honestly sounds like a lot of fun. Right, so we have nine. That's not great. <laughs> yeah, but we have ten divisions, though. That's not bad. Seat selection. Um, resource efficiency gain. What do we want here? Defense would be really good, but it's a little bit more ahead of time. I'd love to be able to do this stuff. But we're not a trouble nation, so... Arr! Hmm. Anti-tank wouldn't be bad, either. Ah, grab anti-tank. Because you can. Forging, and then we'll get some improvised obstructions. More soft attack, more hard attack. What's not to love? And we got about four days left. It's not bad. As we need more army XP too. And boom. Great. A little bit too out of time for me there. Let's grab this one. That's fine. Dynamite. Follow it up with what? Maybe get some recon for this one. Yeah, try some recon. Any more millies we get right now? We're gonna throw this on there too. And we have eleven divisions, which is actually not too bad. We should be able to hold here, right? Should, right? Right? <clears throat> we have enough of that for now. Oh, God, I want stability. I'm... Oh, defense and attack. 
Spy Masters, not too bad. That one's okay. This one's not bad anymore. Max Bounty's pretty good too. Yeah, this one's pretty good. You get more defense immediately and attack. I think I'll go choose that one. Restore the highways, followed up with connect the smaller settlements. While repairing the highways is well and good. Not every settlement is conveniently placed along those arteries. A lot of smaller communities are often situated off the beaten track. We need to make sure these people don't fall through the grid by having clear, well-protected roads to them so traders can reach them and supply them with whatever they may need. To infrastructure to a non-capital. Um, if we complete this... Well, actually, we might not get anything from this. I do want to do economic growth, so... That'd be kind of nice. Am I upgrading our enemies, our potential enemies, for fun? Pretty much. We'll see what happens, though. Yay! Okay, let's stop training and see what happens. Even though we're out of guns, which sucks. But we should get more guns every single day just because of that. Uh, how much would it cost to put these guys on? 25. How about here? 15. That's a little better. There you go. Do that. It's probably a bad idea. They immediately start attacking us. Can we actually hold out here, though? Oh, 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 and our allies give us stuff. Oh, that's actually really nice. Nice. Oh, this guy's going to learn a lot. 39. Can we go up to 40? 40, yes, please. It's green now. Don't you dare start dropping. Don't you dare start dropping, son. I want to do this by ourselves. 79 is red. Well, that's looking a little better, maybe-ish. Yeah, we'll see what happens. 40, yes. That's, that's a number we like. And Raphael... Y'all hold, man. Y'all hold. We're not going to be attacking anytime soon. He's leveling, all, leveling up. Hiram's leveling up. Nice, 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 nice. And this we got a little bit of action here, so we get a lot more army XP. Followed up with what? We open strange stations? Why not? <clears throat> the train networks. Lay has lain idle since the war. While the occasional opportunist experience claimed his train station as his domicile, no work has gone to actually getting the trains and tracks into working condition again. But especially in places where Brahmin caravans are at a capacity, a freight train will both help them with the amount of goods and time it takes to deliver them. It'll be a significant undertaking, but it is, of course, well worth it. Oh, they got a little tired there. Nice. Uh, we could call our allies in. That wouldn't be bad. It could spare us in terms of uh, manpower and such. But at the same time, I kind of want to get our guys to just to get used to this. It, like I said, it's going to hurt our manpower. But at the same time, I'd rather get our guys, like, our general, like, level 4. Look, he's already level 2, which is awesome. And you're going to use my stranger. There you go. And we shouldn't have any too many problems. There, you want to help out? There you go. <clears throat> Actually, can we go to every cap of the army? Yeah. That's not bad. Military get the country. Yeah, I'm going to go that. Because right now we're at 6, so we're just going to improve ourselves and improve ourselves. And if we call them in, they will get some more army XP as well. They're probably going to go to war with... Why don't do the National Guard? The last patrol. Huh, okay, well, whatever. They're gone. And by doing this, it does give us more army XP as well. Which is great to not have our allies do that too. So. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we have enough guys here. Look at that. Level 2 already. Nice. He's already halfway to the next level as well. Uh, are you learning anything here? Yeah, always. He's definitely learning. I hate that he's not giving us enough. He's not learning enough, though. Uh, we've lost 700, 740. 740? 74 versus that much. Not bad. I just wish we had a better, bigger industry. But this is exactly why we're going to war right now. We just need a bigger industry. <clears throat> I just want your territories. I just want to, to love you. That's all. And once we have this open and they kill off all their manpower as well, then we can just score their territory as well. So, that's why. This 24,000 is not bad. Yeah, that's, that's some good manpower. That's some pretty good manpower, not going to lie. All but you two, go here. Connect the smaller settlements. Re reopen the train station because we can. And then passenger trains. A surprising byproduct of our restarted train network is increasing demand of people wanting to travel with them. But our trains really have no room to host any significant amount of passengers. Also, a big silo of wagons full of grain is not a good place to travel. The solution is simple. Dedicated passenger trains that drive on a fixed schedule. This will cut somewhat into our freight capacity, but has the benefit of being able to send people where they are, where they are needed quickly. Everyone gets some manpower, but we get 100 extra. Which is okay. Not great, but okay. No, oh guys. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. Even though we could use some more war, more war propaganda. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, grab that one. We'll get some more stability next, too. I want to keep making divisions until, until we hit 20. Because that'll be a very good amount for us. So we can then stock, just stockpile more stuff here. Honestly, we really just might not need any extra population. If that's the case, we might not go field hospitals then. Maybe, we'll, maybe we will go with recon. Then again, in our focus tree, do we get recon anyways? It's fun. Not focus tree, but like our land auction. So with ancient tactics, we get more organization, 
more breakthrough, more defense, soft attack, hard attack. Uh, nothing there. Special forces capacity minimum. More defense, more breakthrough, uh, more entrenchment. We do not get recon, so it's okay to throw recon onto here. Capture the one, very nice. So demos, anti-tank, fire teams, of course. <clears throat> and he's already level three. Not bad. And he's really good on attack, even though he's just defending most of the time. Losses, 131, not bad, not bad. Improvised obstructions, very good. And time to go with Ancient Roman Efforts. Let's see, let's grab some more stability here. Hurts our civvies for a little bit. I'd rather hurt our research speed. Just gives more stability. I love stability, man. Actually, since we're here for repair train stations, it's fine. Passenger trains, thank you, thank you. Try playing attacker? Yeah, let's grab that one too. Need more millies. That's all we need. Just more millies. Follow it up with protect the caravans. <coughs> well, our approach is stopping, or our approach of stopping the often project protection racket, like ways of certain settlements towards traders, sadly led to a decrease in protection caravans overall. It seems we need to step in ourselves. Regular patrols along major trader routes and to trade hubs will show that the caravans are not easy pickings for the common raider. Very good. Are you? Yeah, level four. Not, almost level four. Nice, nice. Level two. Nice. Um, with you, beloved leader. It's not bad. I always love Savage Leader. That's really good. Um, tough leader. Worker rates. This is only 5%, though. Idiot Savant. No, that's not too bad. Mysterious Ranger. You're going to be leading mostly just infantry anyway, so might as well do that one. Make it just a little stronger. Let them kill themselves off on us. And then get some goods. Just max out the stability. Just max it out as much as you possibly can. Whatever people is very nice. Only two cities for now, but whatever. Made another division. Awesome. Cut it down a little bit more so we can save a little bit more on this stuff for now. Awesome. We've lost 200 versus 900. And... I'll do 20 divisions. A lot of skeletons. They might be mobilizing a little bit more. Maybe. Apologizing. Apologizing? I apologize for not having, like, extreme amounts of, like, war. But then again, I mean, this is what we have, so... It is what it is. And we're doing well with it, so... That working is good. And I'm just trying to set us up so that we can do well. Once we, like, really start going to war, like, it should, we should just be able to start, start steamrolling enemies eventually. But yeah, just keep learning. Oh, level 4, nice. Very nice. Passenger trains, nice. Got that one too. Uh, what do we want here? Rooted's not bad. I like Rooted quite a bit. Strong back, awareness. Well, get some recon, but, you know, 100% of 1 for 1 is just makes it 2, probably, so. Enforcers... Flash cops. You know what? I'm going to go with just get more entrenchment. It's not much. The plus one is pretty nice. Level two. Halfway to learning, becoming level three, which is nice. But the next focus. Attract foreign caravan companies. Since we have the local side of this trading business figured out fairly well, it might be time to look outward and see what the other people are doing. And maybe get one or two of these caravan companies interested in setting up shop inside of orders. Attract foreign caravan companies. Not bad. Wow, look at how bad some of these divisions are. This, some of these skeletons are real bad, man. Real bad. Oh, they do have some anti-tank, some fire teams, some field hospitals. You know, they don't want to attack us. Well, we'll bait them in harder. Get out. There you go. And you, you can always call these guys back in if you need to anyways. Or don't. We don't have to. Oh. Oh, okay, so that's the last patrol. They're not doing very well. And that's okay with us. The Blood River... Derb, huh? I gotta play as Derb sometime, huh? Yes, please. All eyes on Kansas. Welcome to Kansas. Very nice. Let them struggle a little bit. That's fine with us. Uh, major businesses. Golden Gecko. I'm gonna build a lot. Oh, we're gonna wait for that one, too. Um, over here. Friends in high places. Protect the caravans. Honest speaker. We're still doing well. So, uh, You know what? Re construction? 2% is not very much at all. Ah, grab it anyways, because we can. Cool. And then we'll follow it up with economic growth. First People's Junction is a place to be to buy and sell all kinds of things. Investing in its growth as a trade hub will benefit all members of the Federation. Not bad. If you want to buy a song from the front, please go right ahead. Uh, you know what? Let's get some more war support. We could probably use more war support, right? Political power, though, is really good. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, we get themselves harder, harder, harder. They've only lost 1,100, while we've lost 200, which is not bad, but still. If I have to. We will send some of these guys home. We will send them home if we have to. 
15 divisions, not too bad. Slowed down a little bit more in terms of gain, gaining more XP, but that gives us time to build ourselves up some more too. Aw, yeah. Very nice. We actually have a surplus of guns now? We actually do. Huh. Alright, that's not bad. We don't have that much, but... What about one more? We gotta go to three there. Still building up them civvies, good. Almost having eight. Almost have eight. So, one more this way too. I think they're not gonna run out of map, but they're gonna run out of equipment first. Yeah, they are. I mean, I would love to attack, but... Oh, there goes the Brotherhood. <coughs> well, that was really fast. Holy crap. Sun dogs. Well, looks like Lanius lost. Dribbling with God. Whoa! Oh, they actually do have a unique focus tree. Look at that. Did I ever play these guys before? I don't think I have. Maybe I have. Have I done some Federation? I really can't remember. I need to play some then. Nice. Where are we? Oh, we're over here. Yeah, that's right. Manual prospectors? We could... I want to save our money because we're not going to have that much money overall. We need as many divisions as possible, so let's just save our money for now. Alright. Are you guys done? No. Decimation is nice. We're going to lose some population, but that's okay. It, it, it is what it is. Nice. Alright, two days left. Dedicate equipment. Uh, grab some plant cultivation. No, we'll grab this one. We're oppo first. Alright, we're done with that stuff for now. Grab some basic tools. Yeah, I'd love to attack, but it's not enough yet. Can we bait them attacking here too? That'd be really nice. Oh man, their their attacks have just kind of winded down now. Urgh. Not guard. You know what? What have we been doing to defense structure? Let's just do rec recon decryption. That that literally helps with combat. So roaming slavers, huh? All right. So now that we've done that, I think I did the left side here on the focus tree before. Support the clans. I think we're going to support the city dwellers for this one. But barrage balloons. Get some of that one too. Support the city dwellers. City dwellers are more in line with the goal of a strong, you know, unified nation. The game failure with them comes mostly down to shaking the right hands and making the right promises. Not bad. Get some more political power, even though we don't really need it that much. That's okay with us. And we could try and attack. We actually have a few demo pieces. We need some fire teams, though, which sucks, but whatever. Actually, the fire teams are not great, so let's just throw on the demos here. Slightly more attack. Yeah, I mean, if, even if we tr do try to attack right now, like, they have just so many guys that they're just going to come kill us. Super easily. Or not easily, but it's just going to take so long to break through them, probably. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, he became level 3 on attack. That's nice. Alright, economic growth. Yeah, clear the streets of rubble. Slip it as farm clans. Alright, support the city dwellers. And next one we'll do... Ooh, construction speed, I like that. City, clans. Ooh, I like that too. Guns, repair this stuff. I'm going to do rivers of commerce. Fishing and trading along the river was always key to our survival. With the waterways being a lot safer now, uh, we can invest into them more to get the most use out of them. Which probably is a good idea. Probably a really good idea. Look at that. Just keep attacking us, guys. Just keep on attacking us. Not bad. How close are you getting level 5? You're getting closer. And you are... How close? You're level 3. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. I'd love to attack, but... We might attack. We might call our allies in and then attack. Just because that might actually get us somewhere. So, don't need that. 8 out of 15 is not bad. Mm. You know what? Call them in. But we're not going to give them anything, so... That's fine. Yeah, I knew that they would immediately start attacking, which is bad. Uh, that might have been a mistake, but we'll see. Let's go in. Get some more political power. And honestly, I'm going to go and attack. We'll see what happens. Uh, what do we want here? Arms lobbyists. Eh, that's not really worth it. Military. Infrastructure construction speed is not bad either. I do like that one quite a bit. Honest speaker. Population. Just war sports is nice and all, but like monthly population. Let's make more babies. We only get five a month, so 10% of five is not very high. So we'll see. And now that we're on attack, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens, even though they're out of equipment already. So, they are losing manpower. 
Maybe. It's definitely a maybe. But it's going to take a while to get, kill them off, so. We might be able to win. We might not be able to. Yeah, using infantry to attack. Maybe special forces would be a better idea. Hmm. We'll see, though. <coughs> All right. Rivers of Commerce. Nice. Hmm. You know what? Let them deal with it. If they all want to die there, that's not with us. We already 98% there, so. 83, can you go any higher or lower? We'll probably do defend a riverbanks. Uh, let's do help needed. Well, we did manage to clear out the rivers. It was neither quick nor easy. We lost a good amount of men that didn't stay far enough away from what lurked below the surface. Clearly, we were less prepared than we thought. We should look for help. And uh, grab some key information, too. If that's a case, you know, we might as well just keep expanding down this way until we go to war with the other tribes. So, yeah. Basic tools, let's grab some of this too. Tribal huts, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, they want to do that work. That's fine with us. All right, everyone. So, uh, we spent some time, and I'm now I've gone to war with the Pineapple Town, Rocho. Um, probably just gonna try to kill off everybody here, but it's gonna probably take a while. Um, I've already gone ahead and gone to war with the elusive group here, the elusives. So we'll see what happens. I'd love to just be able to capitulate them, but obviously we'll see what happens, and I hope we do okay. We have some other focuses off screen as well, such as Defender Riverbanks. Rivers have one big disadvantage. We can't really stop other people from using them too. So to prevent someone from just sailing up to a riverside settlement and stealing our stuff and bringing it down. Oh, my apologies. Wow, that actually was really fast. Um, we need to build some defenses here. Or there. Actually, this is going to be... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. You know what? We can force the attack. You know, force it to win. Force it to win. We got enough manpower for it, so. Expand a river fleet. OCT, River Fleet Desk, invite foreign mercenaries. The quick way of doing it is just spending a good amount of money on getting someone else to do the job for us from now on. There are hardly enough hardy and well equipped folks coming through the area looking for work. Some of them are probably willing to patrol the rivers. Awesome, awesome. So a little bit ahead of time, but we can do that one. And get some better tri, tri plan attackers. Because we're trying to make some. <clears throat> excuse me, air bases. Oh, yes. Kill them off if you can, kill them off. <clears throat> And also, this is one of the strategies we can use to, like, really weaken our allies once we go to war with them as well. So, like, I'm really not opposed to, like, basically killing off all of our allies' manpower. So we'll see what happens. Backyard workshops are nice. Got some left too. Thank you. And we've also did trade, train hunters. The way that requires more work is training people specifically for tracking and hunting down all those critters. They may not be ready immediately, but it'll pay off in the long run. Also, we do have some dockyards, but we don't have ports, so that's weird. Oh, come on, man. We were so close. So close to glory. If we could capitulate these guys, that'd be great. We're literally just walking into the spine. Look at that. How many divisions they have? That's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, Rosho's gone too. Thank you. But we gotta make sure that we actually do this as well. Caravan guards, pacification, and militia. Awesome. Saves us a little bit more here. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah, you guys go right here. Go, go straight for the spine. Oh, do we run out of things to build? Oh, that's not good. That's good. That's good. Build that too eventually because you can. Oh, we are, we are where this group is bald, which sucks, but whatever. There you go, got the spine. Eh, hey, that took forever to do. I apologize for taking so long with the skeletons, but, you know, I suppose it is what it is, you know. But not bad. It's all good to be our territory, hopefully. Oh, got enough equipment there. Oh, so nice. Do that, because we need a lot more stuff down here, too. Go down to one. We're going to actually make some monoplanes, finally. You go at the bottom, too. There you go. Not bad. Are we just fighting these guys? Yeah, we are. Just nice. Clear those streets of rubble. And some of our cities getting from point A to point B is a serious struggle due to the collapsed buildings and various other debris blocking streets and rockways. And we don't want people to make it a short trip through the sewers, up and down a three-story building, and slide down a zipline just to buy food one street over. We need something about that. And I redeemed the skyscrapers. I think I did this one last time. I think I'm just going to go max this out. Let's just max out city dweller stuff. Even though city, city dwellers live, as the name suggests, in the cities, very few of the pre-war skyscrapers and high-rises are actually inhabited. This is due to the often dreadful state of especially their upper floors. 200 years of the elements beating on those buildings just led to some walls, missing walls, collapsed floors, and various other issues. If we fix just some of them, we'll open up a lot of space for further ventures. Yay! Also, we started making divisions. Also, this is the river patrol stuff we got. The divisions, which were okay. Obviously, these guys are better. I'd mean, throw that on there too. So, thank you too. Well, I do want to get some special forces eventually as well. But not bad. He's level five. Here, he's level five, which is great. Thank you, allies. Thank you so much for helping us out. 
Uh-oh. Kick from faction. Is it because we didn't give you anything? I bet it's because of that. I really bet it's because of that. And now I got a lot of stability, a lot of war support. I want to kill these guys off first, and then while we do the coup against these guys. Because now we have a really good army. Pretty good army. Pretty pretty much ready to go, and well, pretty well stacked, so. Um, yeah, we need more millies. But I want to get at least some more civvies first. And we have the followers of the apocalypse here as well, which is okay. Not great, but okay. We really need more water. Do we need more building slots? Uh, we got the PP fort. Might as well, right? Might as well. Uh, canoe stuff. Max range. Range doesn't matter too much. After we clean the skyscrapers. Open up. Open black drink bottling camp. I prefer organized scavenging teams, to be honest with you. There are a lot of pieces of machinery and vehicles in varying states of functionality just lying around our cities. Unused and unclaimed, we need to send out dedicated teams of scavengers and mechanics to comb everything we own for everything that can be either repaired or repurposed. Nice. After that, we might go to war with these guys. These guys are actually not too weak. Our guys look really bad just because we're missing, you know, fire teams, but whatever. It is what it is. Hey, there we go. Nice. Let's see what we can do. Do they attack us? No. Do we attack them? Yes. Should do relatively okay-ish. Especially over here. Not, maybe not here, but over here as well. Oh, maybe not that one. We'll see. Wait, did you actually lose here? Oh, we're actually walking in here. We'll see. Just try to get as much experience for our guys as possible. Oh, that's a little bit way too ahead of time for us. Uh, there you go. Y'all, they're doing force defense, it looks like. At least in some of these divisions. Need a little bit. We'll see. Hey, completely encircled. Nice, nice, nice. We've lost 200 versus 1,600. Awesome. Shreve Railway, thank you for playing. All right, then, everybody. It's time that we uh, figure out what we're going to do here, too. It's going to be a big old war for us. Massive war. Clean the skyscrapers. Uh, at this point, assuming absolute authority. Our nation is gridlocked by our current government. Octel must assume control. Actually, are you missing anything here? You have manpower. They have manpower. They have, they have a good amount of manpower. Not a ton, but a good amount. And... Economic independence. Oh. Luke Pope. Yeah, if we wonder about this again, please go ahead. Because we already did all this stuff, and this stuff doesn't matter too much anymore, so... Um, actually, we received a mission. Devious plans. The Octal Elite. Economic independence. Well, total... Seven, you get 10 mini nukes. Nice. I'll do economic independence first. If we wanted to just fight on Nuka-Cola Gigafactory, which sounds amazing, how long would that take? Okay, 35 days. Okay, we'll do that one first. Okay, that... People probably won't attack us when we're over here, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Can't believe we kicked from the faction, though. Oh, we're losing money. That's not good. Alright, that's the case. We can't make any more of these guys, then. Um... We don't even have a trade node. We should be able to survive for quite a while without money for now, but... Tax breaks for factories. Strong right flank and military engineering. Yay! We actually might struggle here a little bit. Where is the air base? I don't see it there. We do keep some money, too, just to make sure that we can uh, do some stuff. Okay, where's it? Where's the airbase? Do we not have an airbase? Okay, that's very weird, but alright. Um, supply lines is moving. The worst thing that could happen would be for our units to enter a nation with a horde supply. We must prepare our Brahmin for such an occasion. Alright. That's a little bit too ahead of time for us. Let's grab that one. Part standardization. I was just looking. Not great. There you go. We want to core that as fast as possible. Use less manpower. Get some more manpower for ourselves, too. How many more days do we have before we take out the nuclear coal factory? Not much. Okay. Right, so we're not losing yet. Not bad. Not bad. Just be very pointed with our attacks. Scrap shacks. Not bad. Let's grab some resources because we can. Um, are you the only group that can actually attack here and do well, maybe? Uh, we'll see. As long as we win here, we can kill th three more divisions off pretty quickly. After supply lines moving, uh, launch the coup. We'll probably do that. They'll never see it coming. Nice. Go in. Go in. Nice. Alright, it's going to be a little bit more of a struggle, but we'll let the guys get on the line. We're missing some fire teams still, which suck, 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 suck. That's alright for now. And let's go in. Supply lines moving. I'll do the coup soon. Let's go and do the organized scavenging teams first. There's a lot of pieces of machinery and vehicles in varying states of functionality. Oh, there is one. Maybe we don't need to get Please go right ahead. My bad. My apologies. Seriously, where is the air bases? I wanted to use planes, but we don't have planes for some reason. You should be able to win here. 
They're literally doing force defense. They, or at least they were for a while. Yeah. Look at that. Look how, how weakened they become. Lost some versus 1200, which makes sense. Good, good, good. Get down here. You know what? We'll force the attack. Screw it. They don't want to do force defense. We'll do force attack. Doesn't matter to us. Oh, there goes those guys. Nice. Took over the capital. Still not enough, I guess, though. So. Come on, baby boys. Come on. 400, which is fine since we just got plant cultivation. We'll get more manpower anyway, so. Doesn't really matter to me too much. Level 5 isn't learning that much more. What does he have? Exhausted? Oh, exhausted, huh. Oh, that was a trait. It's kind of cool. Come on. These guys are not that tough. Then again, infantry is just not very good on attack. Come on, take this tile out. Then we can take this tile out, and then we can take that tile out. Good. There we go, we got him. Ooh, that took a while. And then we'll do the coup. Sucks that we got kicked out of our own faction, god dang it. But I do want to see what this does. Launch the coup, baby. Launch it. They'll never see it coming. That's extremely important. Make sure you're prepared for a tough war. Well, I guess we'll see what happens when we do that one. And... Oh, we got quite a few days left for that one. Okay, that's 7%. Um, that's a case. I'll probably read Hunt Down Weapon Stashes. Uh, the time shortly before the war was not a quiet one. Our records show there was a lot of civil unrest in cities that we claim as ours. Riots, insurgencies. These things are long in the past now, though. But what that means for us now is that if we can find out the old bases and hideouts of those insurgents, there are bound to be stockpiles of weapons and supplies that should still be usable. Cool, we'll do this one, and then we'll start this next episode with launching the coup over there. But... If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will launch a coup and hopefully take down the other Native American groups. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.